Hey guys, welcome back to the channel of Jimmy is Promo and today is October 21st and Samsung just pushed off the latest software update for the Galaxy Watch 4 and it's a fairly large update bringing a lot of new functions and features. Now if you watch the latest unpacked event that Samsung just did, it was mostly talking about colors, but one of the nice things that came out of that unpacked event was an update for the Watch 4. Now usually when it comes down to watch updates, they are you know either 100 megabytes or even less. This one's pretty large at 400 and 77 megabytes and the version ends in D-U-J-A. Now, as you scroll up, the nice thing is that everything is listed out of what is brand new. So for watch faces, it supports four types of new watch faces. Together, AR emoji, Bitmoji watch face. The usability was improved for those ones. My photo watch face supports GIF files. So now you can put a GIF on your watch face if you want to, which will more than likely take a little bit more battery life. And I do have to state that the Galaxy Watch 4 has a little less battery life than the Galaxy Watch 3, which I do miss. Um, but this one is slimmer and it looks a lot better. Uh, the display is better. Things were upgraded. So the battery life might not, you know, be as big as the Galaxy Watch 3 for those reasons. You have animal cute character watch face customization features were added, uh, supports the backup and restoration of order of watch faces and the changed settings of the preloaded watch faces. So if you have some of the changed settings of some of the preloaded watch faces and also the order of your watch faces, it now actually supports the backup of that. For Samsung Health, an improved heart rate measurement accuracy algorithm was added. The sensitivity option in the fall detection feature was added. For gestures, a new gesture that allows you to run apps or features immediately was added. And then call supports mute status. So there's an icon, mute, unmute status while talking on the phone and then improved system stability and reliability. So maybe that portion there could maybe help the battery life go a little bit better and a little bit faster. But let's just go through. Let's get this thing installed right now. And then we're going to come back and we're going to take a look at maybe some of those different uh, watch faces and things like that. So now it's usually at this point in the video that I like to state that if you guys are brand new here at the channel Jimmy is Promo, you appreciate these tips, tricks, and tutorials on the latest Samsung devices, then make sure you hit that subscribe button as well as the bell for notifications so you get notified for all future videos. And again, if you appreciate it, you want to support the channel, you can simply do that by giving it a thumbs up, write comments below the video inside the description. All of these interactions will help the YouTube algorithm push this video to more and more people. So the update is done and complete. So how about we take a look at the Galaxy Wearable application because I feel like it would be a little bit easier than going through the smaller screen of the watch. So over here, you know, it's going to look the same thing on the watch itself. But one of the things I was talking about was the, the settings for fall detection. Maybe it was a little bit more sensitive from before. So you want to go inside of your watch settings. Then you want to go to advanced features because inside of advanced features is where SOS is. And SOS, it should show that fall detection, which I've never really played with before. Um, but inside of SOS, what will happen is when you turn this one on, what's going to happen is it's going to send your location, send a text message, things like that to your uh, your closest people that you have set up. So if you do run into any type of an issue, uh, then they're going to at least know that you fell or something is going on. It's really good for maybe if you're running or if you're younger. Uh, originally, you can put it as that, that three times. So if you press the home button three times, it will send SOS, letting people know that you could be in trouble. So you just want to go through agree, and then you can select from contacts. Now, I'm not going to set this up. I'm not going to put my contacts in there, but this is where you can turn on the the wind fall hard detection. So basically it'll make an SOS call and send SOS messages to your emergency contacts when your watch detects a hard fall and you haven't responded for 60 seconds. Keep an eye on your watch, watch during high impact activity like sports since this can be sometimes registered as a fall. So to go a little bit more in depth since I'm not going to demonstrate it in the video, after a fall your watch will alert you for 60 seconds with a pop-up sound and vibration. You can cancel the alert or swipe to send SOSs right away. So if you're playing a hard impact sports and it sends it off, obviously you're going to know you'll be able to feel it or hear it. You can say no to it. But if you don't respond for 60 seconds, SOS messages will be sent to the emergency contacts you set in Galaxy Wearable. You can also set your watch to make an automatic call to your selected emergency contact to let them know your location. So that was one of the first ones I want to talk about, which was uh, SOS and the whole fall detection, things like that. Now we're going to take a look at one that, you know, a lot of you guys 
guys a little bit more excited for, which could be some of the watch faces. And so when you scroll down, you can take a look at graphical. So here's the AR emojis, cute characters, animals, uh, friends, things like that. So if you want to have little cool things popping up, you can also customize it. You can head over into animals. And again, you can customize these as well. You know, maybe even the color of the hands. Here is the friends, and so there's probably a little bit more that was added inside of here, some of the complication things. So that would be, you know, how much water you should have, um, you know, your steps, things like that, elevation. So then here's also the Bitmoji ones. And so with Bitmoji, you can go through again, you can customize. Uh, so you can change your your clock type. You can also go to your character and you can also uh, change the character. So you can go inside of your Bitmoji. Uh, you can also have these pre-made setups here. So if you want to have, you know, the, the, the information around the clock. When I was talking about complication from before, we're talking about steps. We're talking about battery life. You know, we're talking about recent applications, heart rate, daily activity, food consumed. So you can really go through all of these things here and you can change what you want to show up. So if you want to have your media controller, messages, the phone, recent apps, you know, things like like that so it looks as if there's going to be a little bit more you know flexibility and customizations when it comes down to some of those here's a lot of the informative ones now i'm really more of an informative type of a person i like to see all of these details going around i already fully customized each and every one of these to fit my needs uh, but yeah there's a lot of stuff going on here so you can take a look at a lot of these but my guess is you know down underneath this graphical area this might be some of the stuff that was changed and also too, you got color pie, you got my style, uh, fresh, things like that. So it's going to look pretty cool for anybody who wants to play with some of those, those newer clock faces. Now, going back to some of the things that it was mentioning, again, four new types of watch faces. Uh, if you play with together AR emoji, things like that, some of the usability has been improved. My uh, photo watch face, so you can attach GIFs. Now, I don't play with too many of those, maybe in a future video, but this is just letting you know that there is an update and you guys can play around with it. You know, uh, for gestures, a new gesture that allows you to run apps or features immediately was added. So really cool update. I know a lot of people were excited for it. It was fairly large. Uh, uh, but that is it for today's video. If you guys appreciated it, make sure you guys give it a big thumbs up. Also, don't forget to subscribe if you have not subscribed already on the very bottom left-hand side. And if you like this video, the more than likely you'll also like this video. And I'll see you guys later.